Hey, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this Goose Creek wax unboxing. And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome on back. So you guys, today we're going to be doing yet another Goose Creek wax unboxing slash first impressions. So as you guys know, this fall season, I actually did two different Goose Creek um, fall first impressions slash unboxings. So today for the upcoming winter season slash holiday season, we're going to be doing another unboxing. Though I will be doing Goose Creek candle reviews hopefully for this holiday season. But you guys, I got to tell you, it's so tough for me to pull the trigger on candles. Um, committing to like a large candle when I've never smelt it. I have bought obviously all of my Goose Creek candles sight unsmelled just simply because I, you know, I'm going off the scent notes. Some of have been hits, some have been misses. So what I think is going to be the best option is to continue to do these wax purchases and see which ones I really like. Um, there are some peppermint ones that I really, really like, but I still have yet to melt down on some of the other purchases that I got. So I'm going to wait a little bit longer till I can melt down on some of these waxes before I actually get a large candle. I know some of you are waiting for me to do actual Goose Creek candle reviews. It'll be coming. I'll probably wind up doing maybe one purchase for the holiday season and get some holiday slash winter scents. So that is coming. But today we're going to be talking about wax. We're going to be doing a first impressions slash unboxing. I believe I'm trying to remember what I ordered. I ordered this like two weeks ago. Um, it just came yesterday. I'm super excited about it. I love, love, love doing these live kind of first impressions for you guys. So I think all of these are new. I don't remember which ones I ordered, but we're going to find out. Let's jump into today's video. All right, you guys. So like I said, look at this is not even opened yet. So I didn't peek. I didn't cheat. Don't even remember what I ordered. I think it's not a crazy huge haul. Um, <laughs> those of you who have ordered from Goose Creek, there's been times, I'm surprised this is such a small box. They're getting a little bit better. I used to, um, when I would order like a candle or two candles and maybe a couple wax melts, it would come in like this giant box that happened to me during the fall. Um, my family was like, what did you order from Goose Creek? I go, I swear to God, it's like two candles and some wax melts. It's in this massive box. Um, but so they're getting a little bit better here. I got these. So when they were doing their candle, um, sorry, I keep like pointing this at you guys. Um, when they released their holiday scents. So about two weeks ago, I believe they released their holiday fragrances and, um, they did like this 24 hour only promotion on select candles. They had their little red timer countdown up at the top of their website. I wasn't ready to do a candle yet just cause I didn't know what it would smell like. I did toggle over to their wax section and I've been looking the last month. I've been waiting for them to fully release all of their um, fragrances in wax form. They finally did. So I hopped on there and snagged them as quick as I could. I did not get these on promotion. I didn't get them on promotion, so I didn't get too, too many, but um, I knew they'd sell out if I didn't get them. The cool thing is, let's start the unboxing here. So they got the little insert, of course, on here. It looks like they're putting little coupons. Oh, they're doing fundraising, so they have that in here. And then also, this is kind of cool. Oh, why didn't they do this before, you guys? What a good idea. Okay, so this says Fall Pack 3. So these fragrance samples, oh my God, they should have done this um, earlier in the season, but I love the idea. Oh my God, what was I just talking about? I didn't know they did this, you guys. So they actually have all of their new fragrances. I guess they're not new now but they have little samples that they're putting in their packages. So Goose Creek, awesome idea. I don't know any other brand that does this. This is, this is awesome. What a great way to kind of test out the fragrances and get it to your consumer. A for effort on this. The only thing I would like to see is um, possibly 
instead of giving out the fall ones, because obviously we're all ordering holiday, they should be doing spring already. They should be doing their spring previews and doing spring preview samples, or maybe even New Year um, exclusive, things like that. But these are little samplers. Really cool, I've never seen a company do that. All right, you guys, let's dive into the wax and let's see what we got here. So yes, anyhow, these all retail for $4 a piece. And um, there was no promotion on those, but I did actually have a coupon for, let me show you. You know how it is, it's, it's one of those things, you gotta catch them when they're on a promotion if available. More times than not, you can find some sort of coupon floating around. But I did use my coupon, look at that. I have never used one of their uh, fresheners before, or uh, car fresheners. So naturally I got peppermint because we're getting up to holiday season. And I do have their wax melt in peppermint and on cold, I like it. I haven't melted it down, but I like the scent. So I got that, used my coupon on that. And I only have, I got three, four, only got five cents here for you guys, so this is a mini little order, but let's see what we got. I'll grab it random here. <laughs> I'm curious if this is going to be similar to Bath and Body Works version, or if it's going to be closer to um, a little more of a piney type sweetened version. This is under the mistletoe, and I don't those of you who are like diehard Goose Creek fans who have used Goose Creek for years, comment down below. Under the mistletoe, I don't know if this is new for this season or if it's just a returning holiday scent, but let's see what it smells like. Okay, so on cold, it's kind of light, but that doesn't mean when it melts down, it, it won't throw. Um, I can smell the scent in there. It's just, it, to me, it smells like um, an evergreen bush. You know, like the decorative evergreen bushes. It just smells like evergreen um, with maybe a little bit of a sweetness. Really pretty. I'm a huge fan of evergreen. Very, very fitting with the picture. That's under the mistletoe. Seems a little light, but we'll see how it is when it melts down. You guys, after Thanksgiving, I'm going to start doing and kind of setting out my holiday fragrances. If you're interested on any of these ones, I will absolutely do Instagram follow-ups. You guys see me do my little pictures all the time when I'm melting new fragrances. Um, I will probably not do full-on reviews on every single one of these, but I'll do Instagram posts and kind of give my overview. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram if you're interested to see that. All right, let's see what else we got. I almost got the candle of this one. The description of this sounded so pretty and I'm I'm very unprepared today, you guys. I usually have the notes and everything in front of me. Um, I've been running around all day and I wanted to get this filmed, but I do remember the notes of this when I was flipping through them. This is new, if I'm not mistaken. Ivory Rocking Horse. To me, I think if I remember this one, I thought would make a really beautiful, um, bedroom scent. I think it had amber. Oh, man, this one's really pretty. It's not, to me, it's not exclusively like a Christmas fragrance. It, to me, it doesn't scream holidays or anything. It's definitely a heavier, maybe cooler weather type scent with that really heavy, warm, ambery, um, semi musky type fragrance. It's not quite cologne and it's not quite perfume. Very sophisticated, almost a little bit of a dryness, like um, I don't want to say oak. I can't I can't quite pinpoint it, but I will absolutely be melting this one down. I will absolutely be trying this one. I think this is gonna make a really beautiful bedroom fragrance. So that's Ivory Rocking Horse right there. I'm trying to think of something I can compare this to. Just think of like, um, it's not quite perfumey like some of um, Yankee Candles like Autumn Pearl or Sweet Nothing. It's not like that, but it's absolutely not a cologne type scent either. Hold on, let me see. Okay, so I don't know if I had to cut this out or not, but I was talking about the notes for Ivory Rocking Horse. 
I'm, I, I really like this scent. And um, as I said, I'm unprepared for this, this review here. So I'm actually grabbing my phone and I'm going to pull up the notes on Goose Creek's so website. Here's the notes for Ivory Rocking Horse. So top notes of soft cashmere, brushed suede, uh, vanilla bean, black amber, cedarwood, sandalwood, and warm musk. So pretty. Very sophisticated fragrance. All right, so that's, that's Ivory Rocking Horse right there for you. So let's see what else we got going on here. I got three more fragrances for you. This one is so cute. Look at the package on this one. Look at that. Marshmallow fudge. The widow snowman. Little marshmallow snowman. I don't usually do too, too many cocoa-y type scents because it can be a little bit much over time, but I am gonna bust out like the hot cocoa and cream. I got hot cocoa and cream wallflowers. I have a Sonoma um, cocoa candle, so I want to give their hot chocolate version a try. Ooh, and just opening this, I can get like a fudgy, cocoa-y um, fragrance. No description really needed on this. It really is. It's like a marshmallow fudge. It's a little more decadent than, say, um, just a standard hot cocoa. You can get that kind of heavy... Um, decadent fudge type note versus just like an airy cocoa. Really, really pretty. It does seem a tad light on cold, but I can smell that fudge. That's kind of the prominent note to it. I find that sometimes chocolate and fudge scents can either be really good or they can be really artificial when they melt down. So we'll see how this one goes, but on cold, it smells quite nice. Okay. So this one, I had already or placed this order. I believe I had already, no, I was looking at this fragrance. I was on the fence, I wanted to get the candle, but then I wound up doing the wax order and I saw Sean from Hearth and Soul, he did a review of Goose Creek's Holiday Scents. And the one that I was the most intrigued with of, of all their fragrances really was this one. And this is Christmas Magic. And he gave this a really good review. And the, the notes just in and of themselves were ones that I would absolutely wind up using during the holiday season. Yeah. It's, um, it's a pepperminty type scent. It smells a little, um, it's like a sharp peppermint. Not as sharp as twisted peppermint. Um... Almost, it reminds me of Yankee Candles, not quite Jack Frost, more so like a sweetened North Pole. Uh, if that, if that kind of, let me pull this up. If that makes sense, Christmas magic. Sorry guys, I am very ill prepared for today's unboxing. I didn't think I'd pull up scent notes, but now that I'm like remembering what I ordered, I wanna read you guys the notes so you know. All right, so the notes for Christmas magic. And while that's loading, so this one on cold even smells quite strong. So the other ones, um, so the marshmallow fudge and the mistletoe smelt a little bit lighter on cold. The ivory rocking horse smells quite strong on cold. This one's, this one seems a little bit strong on cold as well, which is always a good sign. So the notes for Christmas magic are crushed candy canes, creamy vanilla, light mandarin, vanilla swirl, and warm amber. Peppermint and amber, I mean, what a pretty combination. I don't get mandarin. I love this one. This one's really pretty. Really, really beautiful scent. And I love the um, graphic. Goose Creek does um, really beautiful graphics. All right, we got one more. So Goose Creek has a bunch of uh, peppermint type scents. So they have obviously the Christmas magic. And then hold on one. All right, guys, sorry about that. I had to cut. I had to go grab something really quick. So let's jump back into this. As I said, I'm sorry. I'm very ill prepared for today's review. But last but not least, I have Candy Cane Kiss. So Goose Creek kind of has quite a variety of peppermint fragrances. They have the um, Christmas Magic, which I just showed you guys. You guys have seen me unbox. They also had peppermint, a regular peppermint scent. I have that wax melt, and then they also have, what was the other one? Was it whipped? Yes, 
I don't know if this is showing on screen. They have peppermint whip and then they also have peppermint. So kind of the final installment was the candy cane kiss. Once I saw that they had this available, I obviously grabbed it. I should have brought the other ones out to do a side by side, but as we get closer to holiday, I'm going to start melting all these down and kind of start testing them. I'm almost out of my fall wax melts, believe it or not. So I'll start trying out the holiday ones and um, post these on IG for you guys. Oh, this one's pretty. Okay, so just so far on cold of all their peppermint scents, other than Christmas magic, I really like this one. But there are three straight peppermint scents. I think I like the candy cane, this one, the candy cane kiss the best. This reminds me kind of like Bath and Body Works crushed candy cane action, whereas they're just straight peppermint reminds me more of a twisted peppermint. Um, I like this one. I'm, I'm excited to try this one. Actually, all the ones I got today, I'm really excited to melt down and try. Um, and that's it. So not a huge haul. And, um, you know, I did just want to share them with you guys. If you guys have purchased anything recently from Goose Creek, comment down below. I'm curious to see what your thoughts are and which ones are your favorites. You guys, before I sign off, I want to let you know, as I said earlier, I'm on Instagram. So come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use that to post upcoming um, videos, purchases, all kinds of goodies. And like I said, as soon as I'm done burning down on my fall stuff, I will absolutely be testing some of these fragrances out and doing Instagram posts and kind of giving you my overview on them. I said this in another video. Um, I think it was my Bath and Body Works unboxing. The thing that stinks about holiday um, is especially for reviewing for me. I don't know if anyone else that reviews or unboxes has this issue but you have such a small window from end of Thanksgiving to Christmas to do like empties hauls. So if, you know, if you're doing your own thing and you're working and you don't always have time to sit down and film, plus get through all the product, a lot of the fragrances we use during holiday time for that small one month window for Christmas exclusive fragrances, you don't always get to circle back in it in an empties video because you just don't have that much time. So as we get closer to holiday, you'll see me using Instagram quite a bit more to kind of give you guys my thoughts and feedback on fragrances, especially like with wax melts. I probably won't do a full on review of every single fragrance. So you guys, if you are not following me on Instagram, please, please, please come find me. Like I said, life with L on Instagram. If you're on there, come find me. You guys, if you are not subscribed to my channel already, please hit that subscribe button as we get closer and closer to holiday season. I'll be doing a lot more unboxing, reviews, all kinds of good stuff. You guys, that's it for me today. Thanks for sticking with me. I know this was a little bit longer of a video, so I hope you are having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.